Greetings, ever-growing audience. Oh, wait, I'm holding this printout of our audience numbers upside down. And there's a smudge on it. And someone drew a seven here in purple crayon. And these aren't zeros, they're glued on Cheerios. Now, let's see. Oh, dear. Greetings, a tiny, passionate handful of true believers. The following podcast is not real. The storyline of a hapless resident of Chicago trapped in another dimension is fabricated. The world building, dicey. The caliber of the voice acting suggests three grown men searching for an email receipt for their masterclass with Maurice LaMarche to demand a refund. But it is the holiday season. That time of year we give a little extra chance at redemption to something that's disappointed us throughout the year. Especially knowing we can't properly get rid of it until after Valentine's Day unless we're ready to look like a monster. So with that in mind, sit back and enjoy the show. Hello from the Magic Tavern, a weekly podcast from the magical land of Foon. I'm your host, Arnie Niekamp. If you've never listened to the podcast before, this is everything you need to know. About six and a half years ago, I fell through a dimensional portal behind a Burger King in Chicago into the magical, fantastical land of Foon. Luckily, I'm still getting a Wi-Fi signal from the Burger King through the dimensional rift, and I use that to upload a podcast recorded here in the tavern, the strange familiar, in the town of Nibblebottom, at the base of the unnameable mountain in the magical land of Foon. And it's winter solstice season. Woo! Hey, Chunt, happy? I don't know. I know there's so many holidays in Foon around this time of year, but I'm just noting a lot of decorations going up around Nibblebottom, so ha- happy winter solstice? Yeah, happy winter solstice to you, too. Yeah, we did have a bunch of holidays right in a row. Uh, We had winter solstice, which Mm -hmm. is where everyone makes salsa. Uh, Mm. Mine was cranberry and snow salsa. It did not go over well. Um, We also just had Bonksgiving two weeks ago. I missed Bonksgiving? You missed it? Oh, nerds. What what happens during Bonksgiving? Oh, everyone sits around in a circle. Everybody says a really dumb thing. And then the person to their left bonks them on the head. Oh. Let's try it. Mm. Lizards can't fuck. No, that is. Wait, they can though. Oh wait, bonk me. Ah, thanks. <laughs> you got it. Now you do one. Um, um. Hey, let's come back to it. Okay. Yeah. Sleep, sleep on it, and next week uh, I'll have something by next week. Hey, I'm also joined by my other co-host, Usador the Wizard. I am Usador, Wizard of the Twelfth Realm, of Ephesius, Master of Light and Shadow, Manipulator of Magical Delights, Devourer of Chaos, Chunk, the Great Halls of. Tra- ow, ow. Hey, what was that for? Sorry, uh, late Thanksgiving. Oh, oh, well, happy Thanksgiving to you. Oh, Arnie, did you get to celebrate Thanksgiving? Um, sort of. I got a bonk. Oh, that's nice. Well, you see, uh... It's better to bonk than to be bonked. You know how, how they say? <laughs> yes. Well, some people believe that uh, Bonksgiving and Gunderstein are related, but actually they aren't. It's just two different holidays that happen to involve hitting someone in the head. Huh. Just Isn't a lot a- of unrelated aggression between two different holidays. Well, Gunderstein is to, you know, commemorate the defeat of the first Dark Lord, uh, even though uh, that Dark Lord was far less menacing than the one I defeated. (laughs) Uh. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, Mm -hmm. I was going through some of the files on my laptop here that I record this podcast on. You know, I was looking through some earlier recordings I was trying to see if I had any audio of Zach Plasma, who is unfortunately dead, who never oh, got to be on an yeah. episode of the on show. Too soon. Haven't found any Zach Plasma clips yet, but I did come across this audio clip from season three. Oh, is it Pac Zazma? Who? Pac Zazma. That skeleton Who's... with a worm head? Wait, is the nemesis of Zach Plasma? Oh, yes, damn. You guys talking about Slack Charisma? No, who's Slack Charisma? Oh, well, I don't want to bring it up if we're not talking about him. Yeah, sorry. Let's uh, sorry. What were you saying, Arnie? Okay. Uh, well, I was just saying that I found this audio clip about Christmas. Th- this is from a, an episode of, of season three. Here, let, let me let me play it. He's pretty great. The Dark Lord. Lo- love what? him. I can't get enough of that guy. He's love so great. Talk He's about obsidian. He's doing a lot of stuff for everyone. Charismatic. Not too bright. I mean, physically. He's smart, but 
dark. Hard to see. Yeah. It's difficult to get a line on him. You follow the teachings and beliefs of the Dark Lord of Food? Yeah, Chris. 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 What? Yeah, Chris. We've said it three the, times. Is it a different Chris than you're talking about? Because we're talking about Chris, the Dark Lord. He also goes by the name of Chris and has been that being who once a year we must commit to foul acts. Oh my gosh, this might be as shocking a revelation as the time when I was a child and I realized that Santa and Satan are very similar words. What? what? Oh who? no. Who is he talking about? Who, I don't who know. are these two? Yes, yeah, tell Arnie, us. Arnie, explain the Earth stuff. Well, I generally I don't want to talk about Earth stuff, but great. I, I, <laughs> now, screen, I can't help but notice. Uh, uh, we were all in that. That was all of us. How fun! You start. That's the podcast that we, that we do every week. Have you never heard our podcast? Oh no, but it is delightful. I, certainly, someone would uh, take at least you know uh, I don't know a small pittance per month to uh, support us if they listen to something that wonderful sorry I walked away I can't uh, listen to my own voice really yeah can you summarize what happened if this is gonna be like a fucking clip show or whatever <laughs> oh boy you know I we could do a clip show the problem is that like oh, it's a lot of work for me to collect all those clips you know what I mean? Uh, it's I'm in business it's actually with the, less work for us to just a fucking talk for an hour and a half. I'm in business with the one podcaster who thinks a clip show is too much work. Look, the point of what we're doing isn't to talk about the clip show or about how unlistenable Chunt's voice is. We have... Huh? I just realized that we'd forgotten that we learned that the Dark Lord, who is definitely dead and we are not keeping him trapped in the basement of this tavern. Well, if you don't want to do a clip show, I suppose that we could just sing songs for a couple of hours. Ooh, I have one. Yes, go. Sure. Simply having a wonderful time. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Thank you. It's a nice I like sentiment. that you can listen to that song at any time. Yeah. Well, I don't want to make it holiday specific because then it only gets played once a year. Yeah. Oh, I learned a new holiday song uh, here in Nibblebottom. Sure. Yeah, lay it on us. Frost rolls down the mountain. Frost rolls down the mountain. Frost rolls down the mountain. Maybe it's mystical dragon poop. Ooh, I like that one a lot. Oh yeah. yeah it's, um, oh hey, I heard one, and I don't know if I don't know all of the words. Maybe you guys can help me with it. Um, on the first day of solstice, my foon love gave to me a python in a bone tree. Bonk. <laughs> oh. Oh, I've been sitting on an original. I don't know if this... Uh, you know what? Never mind. It's dumb. No, no, no. I An original? We'd love to hear it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Braham, Braham, Braham. Here we go. Hey, you nasty little raviolis. What are you doing sitting by the window? Looking out the window, looking for men. Men? Men? What kind of men? Men in boots and men in coats. That's all kinds of silly men. Hey, my little nasty raviolis, what are you doing sitting by the fire? Looking up the chimney, looking for men. Men, men, what kind of men? Big old fat men coming down the chimney. Oh, you little nasty raviolis, go to bed, you nasty raviolis. Uh, I think it needs work, but it might be a hit. I mean, I think it tells people uh, to watch out uh, for a gentleman in your chimney and to not eat too much pasta. Yeah, it's, um, I wrote it because a lot of houses were broken into last Christmas. Uh-huh. So, you know, I just, I was, I'm trying to raise awareness for kids to be on the alert for strange and unusual looking men. Sure. Oh, that reminds me. I keep getting distracted from this clip that I played. You just said Christmas, right, Chun? Maybe. It's impossible to tell. What do you mean, maybe? I, I don't know what I say at any time. What did time. you just say? As soon as I say something, I forget it, which is why I never want to listen back to my voice. Hmm. Look, we don't have time to talk about if this is a clip show or not, or how horrible it is to listen to Chunt's voice. Bad. And how if you want to listen to the podcast, you just got to grit your teeth and get through the parts where you're hearing his voice. Let's roll that clip where we grit our teeth. I'm sorry, I thought I was throwing into a clip, on it. You said it was a clip <laughs> no, show. No, I don't. I, you know how long it would take me to go back and find that episode where we were gritting our teeth? Uh, all right. Well, why, why, why did you play just one clip then? Well, 
look, this is how bad I would be at finding clips. I was looking for a clip of Zach Plasma, who died before we even recorded episode one of this podcast. But I started looking midway through season three. So that's like hundreds of episodes off from where it should have been. I got bad news for you, my man. You're not going to find that clip. Hey, do you guys mind if we do a real quick clip show? Sure. Hey, I was thinking about, did you ever find something that you, thank you. Ah, 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 ah. Arnie, you going to partake in this clip show? I, I, guess, I, I guess not. Bonk. No. Oh. Yes, there were a m- number of interesting revelations in the clip, I, I, I think is maybe what you're driving to, Arnold. Uh, you know, those three thieves, or, or rather two thieves and one pirate. We, yeah, we know one of them was clearly a pirate, right? Like, I mean, some of that maybe didn't come through in that clip, but right. it seemed like he was a pirate. You should go back and listen, though. It's a good one. Um, I would say that, uh, you know, if you're driving at what I think you're driving at, mm-hmm. people this year may not be able to... Celebrate Christmas. That's that's right. For new listeners, how does the Christmas? Did you say work? for new listeners? You fucking little pervert, Chunt. We've been over this. Some of our listeners are gonna be nude. That's just a reality of life. Give I don't number. like it. You don't like it. Give me a number. Give me a percentage. Thirty-three percent. Thirty-three percent. That's a lot. Oh wait. No wait. Are you saying you- that they're thirty-three percent nude, or thirty-three percent of them are nude? Thirty-three percent of the listenership is thirty-three percent nude. Oh wait, you just said give me a number. Was I supposed to know facts about something? Oh no, uh, I, I thought perhaps somebody knew. Uh, if we're just making up numbers, seven million eight hundred and forty-three. That was right. Sorry for new listeners. Is for that what you're new saying? listeners, especially the nude ones? Could you explain how the holiday of Christmas works? Well, of course, uh, once a year, uh, that despicable little twerp, Chris, does whatever you ask him to do, uh, and you make him do something terrible because he's just such a, an annoying uh, jerk the rest of the year. But then it turns out we found out from those thieves that the Dark Lord was Chris the whole time. I know, this whole time, this beloved but sort of shitty holiday figure, Chris, was the Dark Lord. This whole time? This whole time? This whole time. I, and now... And now the Dark Lord is dead. But really, he's in the basement? Yeah, we have him in the basement. And he's in Blemish's body, so I don't know mm-hmm. how that's gonna work. Yeah. Wait, is in the basement a euphemism, like, buried? Guys, no. I, for- I forget what we've done. I'm so sorry. No, I don't no, know what no, I say. You're... I forget what we've done. John, you should be listening to these clips so you would know what's going on. I can't listen. I'm trying to think of my nasty little ravioli song. Remember when we met Tourmaline, the dragon teen? Yeah. Just, uh, last week? Our John, employee? Remember that? Our I'll new s- employee? I'll say sure. Okay. Well, Tourmaline is, uh, is you know, digging out a big cave in the basement to watch over the Dark Lord. Um, I mean, blemish. I mean, I mean, nobody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And, and we're, uh, well, uh, Tourmaline is going to help us uh, help can kind of contain that evil entity that's trapped in Blemish's body. And uh, my fear is that Christmas might give him some additional power set we're unaware of or something. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how he was Chris and, and the Dark Lord yeah. the whole time. Because he slept on my couch for like a week one time as Chris. And I was like, just what are you doing here? And he didn't seem familiar at all, because you know what the you know the Dark Lord. No, he didn't seem the same at all. He looks totally different. You know, he's got this like slack kind of laid back attitude, and hair over one eye, and and I was like, Matt, and that, and I was, I was like, you've got to get out of my house. I can't have you staying here all the time. And I finally had to kick him out. And then I said, this year when the winter solstice comes around, I'm going to make you eat your own shoes. Oh, shoes! I thought you were going somewhere else with that. I and mean, the shoes were full of his shit. Is it possible the Dark Lord wasn't always Chris from Christmas, but he accidentally, let's say, killed 
the original Chris, and and due to some kind of Chris must clause, he uh, turned into Chris himself, or at least part of the year. So I guess we don't need to worry about it. I just thought that it's the holiday time. We should brace ourselves, and a lot of people are going to be disappointed that there's probably not going to be a Chris must this year. Oh, but there are so many other wonderful holidays. Oh, Arnie, buddy, I was going to say, we're always bracing for people being disappointed. That's our podcast. That's true. Well, this was a great episode. I think we've uh, I think we've done everything we can do here this week, and uh, I'll be on my way. Excuse me. No, no, Usador. What? Usador, Usador, don't go. What? What? Look, look, we're gonna take a, a break. You know what? You're right. Maybe the episode is over. Let's then let's just let's just hang out and drink. You know, we don't oh. hang out after recording the episode as much as we used to. Oh, yes. Remember the days when. Back in the Vermilion Minotaur, when I would get drunk and ask everyone to join my quest. <laughs> so long ago. Yeah. Chun, what uh, about you? You up for some drinks? Yeah, I'm up for some drinks, and especially a first break. Uh, my name's Chun. I'm a shapeshifter on on Shantae. Um, a little bit about me. I live in a hovel in the ground. My best friend is a human. Um, wait, is this a first break? Yeah. Can I walk you home? No, your thing is the first date? Arnie, if you agree, we'll pay for the second break. Oh, we do have two breaks in the show now, so I'll think it over. And I'll get back to you after this break. First, though, let's hear some words from a sponsor here in Foon before any Earthside ads. You know mittens. You live and breathe mittens. Performance. Stamina. Tenacity. These are the components that add up to success. Success is for those who strive, who want to be more. Mittens is a game of more. More field, more birds, more frittatas. Maybe you're a Baskin trying to learn a new language while carrying your potted flower downfield. Or maybe you're a hillsman just trying to kill a few birds. You've got the will, but the flesh is weak. Not to worry. We're here to help. I'm Darik Phalips. And I'm Stacy Orcastano. We're licensed potion brewers who have created such best-selling miracle cures as Deflato for reversing head enlargement curses. Newt of my eye, a potion for making yourself more attractive to witches and warlocks. And Plucky Duck for removing those pesky unsightly feathers. But our latest elixir is specially formulated and blessed by no less than three goats to give you the drive and the energy to become one of the greatest mittens players in the land. It's called Riggs, and once you get Riggs in you, the magic will improve your vision dramatically, allowing you to see details from one end of the 2,000 meter long field to the other. And Riggs will also magically increase your your heart's capacity to pump blood, improving performance. Riggs will literally clear your eyes and fill your hearts so that you can't lose. lose. Riggs is available now wherever you get your potions. Unlock your true mittens potential with Riggs. Happy, Happy winter, winter solstice! solstice. Tis I, Usador, and I command thee. Go to patreon.com slash magic tavern right now and become a member and get all of our wonderful bonus content. All right, guys. The first round of drinks are on me. All right. Does anybody want Ooh. anything in particular? Yeah, I want uh, lobster juice with two lobsters. Okay. Um, I want the prime rib martini. Oh. What else? Um, oh, do they still have the 24 karat gold gulp? Oh. Um, I've always wanted to try that, but I never had the money for it. Um, uh, I'm so sorry, Chunt. I mean, I would happily buy you all of those very expensive uh, drinks and foods. But I think there's a special going on tonight on some of the Mentis's mental teenies. You know those drinks that Mentis oh. the Mental Merchant makes where oh, you can yeah. experience. Yeah, and then we can just experience some other people's emotions or memories. Hmm. I really wanted the bastard son of a bastard. Hmm. Um, I'm thinking about having a, a whimsy sour. Ooh. Ooh. That is tempting. But those Mentis, uh, the Mentis teenies sound really good too. Uh, I, I wouldn't mind having some memories. Okay. I mean, we were going down memory lane, talking about the holidays and, uh, and the old days of the Vermilion Minotaur. So, why don't we why don't we dive into that fully? Yeah, look, this card has some of the the drinks on it. If you want, I'm I'm gonna have a whimsy sour. I mean, you sort of you maybe want a sad Zorak? I'll have a sad Zorak. That sounds great. Okay. Oh, and I'll have a uh, recall Lipso. Okay, sounds good. All right, I'll be right, I'll be right back. Chunt. Yeah. Why doesn't Arnie get guests anymore? <sighs> I mean, 
Honestly, I think he's too lazy. I, I, I realize it's a lot of work to book guests and to continue to find new people who want to come here and speak to us about basically next to nothing. But yeah. uh, I mean, it just feels like maybe, maybe what the people are clamoring for is to stop having guests all together. Let's stop fooling ourselves. Let's just focus on the three of us figuring out some new adventure to go on. I think we should go on the greatest adventure of all time. One that even eclipses my great defeat of the Dark Lord. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, yes, please. Uh, let's please go on that. You know, and I'm, I'm not going to feign innocence. You know, Arnie does get a lot of emails, and I've been deleting them. He got one from a Thomas Hanks on Earth who wanted uh -huh. to be on the show, and okay. I just straight up fucking deleted it. Yeah, who cares? Why would we... Nobody wants to hear from a Thomas. Why would we interview someone from Earth anyway? Yeah, exactly. Well, what color is your tie? Over. <laughs> How do you get around? Bicycle? Fun. Do you love typewriters? Fool. Ah, all right. Uh, okay, bosom buddies. I got our drinks for us here. Usador, here's your sad Zarak. Yeah, Thank you. Whimsy sour. Trunt, here's your re, re. How do you pronounce this again? Oh, a recall lipso? Yeah, a recall lipso. There you go. It's a mm. tropical drink that makes you uh, help remember. Okay, let's. Uh... Uh, I should be drinking that, huh? <laughs> mm, these are good. These are really good. Mm, tasty. Mm. Yeah, they must have a new uh, bar manager back there. This is uh, this is fun. I'm getting kind of yeah. drunk. I'm getting a buzz. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I kind of like, it's sort of weird to sort of like have, when you drink it, you have sort of flashes of the memories of the people that this fluid was sucked out of. That's how that worked, right? <laughs> Trying to remember. Yeah, but there's a better way to phrase it, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're all just drinking oh. glasses of fluid that was sucked out of people, right? Oh. Uh -huh. Ah! Ah! Oh, Usador, oh, I forgot. Oh. We shouldn't let him drink. Oh, did you, did you see the same thing I saw after I drank my sad Zorak? We, we don't know we... yet. <laughs> Here, quickly, ha have a sip of mine. Uh, everyone, try it. Try it. I don't know, sad Zorak. It's very bitter. Yes, but I've seen something so tragic, so terrible. I've witnessed a murder. <gasps> Oh, sorry, my inhale of breath extinguished the candle at the table. Let me uh, relight it here. Oh, Arnie's dead! No, no, I'm just, I just closed my eyes for a second. I'm tired. Oh, oh, sorry. Usador, you're saying that you witnessed a murder? A murder <gasps> most sorry. foul. Sorry, the candle. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Stop saying murder. <gasps> I did it. You did it to yourself. That's, that's me, that's on me. I don't know, Usador. Is it kind of like when you taste something that you're like, oh, I think this has gotten rotten. I think maybe can you want to try to make other people taste it? Yeah, well, I, I would just want to be, be sure that I'm seeing what I think I'm seeing. Are you seeing what I think you're seeing? Hey, hey, Arnie, just try a little bit of it, please. Okay. You don't have to slurp oh it. God. Like. I, think, I think I witnessed a murder. <gasps> <gasps> Guys! Here, Caleb licked in karma. There, now there's an orb of light over the table. It shouldn't blow out. I guess we witnessed our fair share of murders over the course of this podcast, but there's something especially bracing about experiencing the memory of a murder through well, a drink. I don't know if I've ever witnessed a murder as much as I committed a number of them. Mm. Yeah, oh, I guess I'm thinking of me witnessing you committing murders. Yeah, almost a series of murders. You could say mm -hmm. I've committed a, 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 a... If you put them in order, it's kind of a serialized number mm -hmm. of murders I've committed uh, in order to, to, you know, defeat evil. Yeah. So you're a serialized killer. Right, exactly. Can I uh, have a little sippy sip? <gasps> Wait, when I took a sip, I just saw a flash of someone who slipped in a pool of blood, and now they're taking a nap on the floor. That's it. That's it exactly, oh. John. It's a murder! <gasps> yeah. Oh, the orb didn't go out. Do either of you recognize the person that f fell into the pool of blood? I can't say that I do. It seemed to be a, a, a younger man. Uh, a, young man. A young man. Young man. Uh, it seems like he, if he just had a fun place to stay, that... Why? Mm, I don't know. See? Hey, I'm going to hey. grab another drink. <laughs> no, Chunt's right. We have to get more drinks. If there's been a murder and there are clues in that drink, there might be more clues in some of the other drinks. I know. I'll order us three red rums. Chunt, what, what were you and you sort of talking about when I was getting that first round of drinks? Ooh, can I tell you? 
Please. I honestly can't remember. <laughs> hey, you nasty little raviolis. That's what was going through my head the whole time. Oh, sure. But I, I think I said something, but in my head, I was, you know, composing that song still. Sure. You know, to work on your short-term memory, why don't you sing that entire song again? Oh, sure. Um, I mean, you have it written down in front of you. Oh, do I? Mm-hmm. You forgot? <laughs> Oops, I spilled another piece of paper on top of that piece of paper. <laughs> oh, that is just a pile of papers now. Here, I'll just fold the first one back. No, it's ruined. I better throw it out. That's not, that's uh, not here how paper works. Here we are. Three red rums. Okay. Help, 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 help us remember the murder. Good. Mm. <gasps> oh, oh. Oh, 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 brain, it's, brain freeze. Oh, it's so cold. Really hurt my brain. <gasps> oh, I'm having a memory. <gasps> I was fornicating with an oyster, and we were right where the wave hits the land. No, John, we don't want just your memories. We want the memories from the drinks. You don't want me uh, talking about my sex on the beach? Oh, how was it? Uh, I think it was good. Okay. It's sweet, but it's good. Oh, but I had another flash of the murder. <gasps> oh, no. There was a shadow in the room, someone behind the dead body, holding some sort of weapon. Oh, yes. This is similar to the vision that I saw. Once my brain began to thaw a moment ago, a shadowy figure holding what appeared to be a hatchet. Arnie, what did you see? I didn't. This drink didn't look very good, so I just sort of poured it on the side of the table. So I didn't really see anything that time. Speaking of hatchet, did I ever tell you guys about when I was a kid? I was flying on the back of an albatross, and the albatross crashed into the wilderness. And I was alone in the wilderness with just a hatchet, and that's it. Um, luckily, I was able to shapeshift to survive and get the hell out of there. But I had a hatchet. Chunt, mm -hmm. I've been meaning to tell you. You keep telling that story to children, and it just seems... Inappropriate? A little bit. It seems like, I mean, I feel like technically they can handle all the elements of that story, but huh. it seems a little traumatizing. Yeah, the albatross's brains were everywhere. Ooh. I think I had an aneurysm or a heart attack. I can't remember. It's been a while since I uh, read that memory. Anyway, Arnie, did you, see the, did you see the culprit? Did you see the mysterious shadow with the hatchet? No, but here, I got another drink here. Maybe I'll take a sip of it. I got a, a mean hat. Okay, but from this point on, let's keep reusing the drinks we already have versus coming up with new ones. Fair enough. I did see, and what I saw was the shadow of the hatchet looked like it had tiny little arms coming out of the handle. <gasps> We're looking for a walking hatchet? Or, I, I don't know if it walks, it was, the hatchet was being carried, but Oh, yeah, does I'm insane. Arms. No, you're right, I'm the asshole here. Ani, why would someone give a hatchet just arms and not legs? Use your fucking brain. I, I, look, I didn't want to make any assumptions, I'm, I was just saying exactly what I saw. Oh, hello, I'll magically enchant this hatchet, I'll give it arms. And then it will sit here, unable to move around and do a goddamn thing. Uh, Usador, have you been stealing sips of my mean Hatton? Because you're being a real dick. Maybe I have. What are you going to do about it, punk? Well, Usador, this is not unlike when you magicked all those brooms to carry those pails of water for you, but you didn't give them legs, so they had to, like, shuffle around on their bristles. Oh, that did not go well. The exception proves the rule. You know, I, that's exactly why I should have given them legs. It would have gone much smoother. I would have been in a lot less trouble. Oh, oh what a day. Oh, seeing pink hippos for days. Cause they wobbed me in the head when they got when I got but they got back to the Great Halls of Tarakas. They believed in corporal punishment. Can you believe that? Uh, for wizards? Corporeal punishment? That's where you have to go into a uh, a solid form? Yes, that's right. Because I was intangible before that. A lot of my time at the Great Halls of Tarakas, I was like, oh, I'll be intangible for a while. It's a little pretentious. I get it. It was a phase I was going through. But you know, literally. literally. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, wait. I think I know what to do. Well, let me uh, grab, <clears throat> hop down from the table here, go behind the bar. Okay. <clears throat> yes. The bartender always keeps a hatchet behind the bar for protection. Yushidor, can you give this hatchet arms, and then we can start to, I don't know, pull back the layers and suss out a motivation? Should I also give it legs, or are we going with Ani's preposterous idea that it has arms but no legs? Give it one arm and one leg. Got it. 
Ooh, now I want Arancini. Well, there we go. Uh, it kind seems of just flopping around. That yeah, seems cool. It seems, mm. I, I, I'm gonna do the other side. Oh, there we go. That's evened out. Okay, so what would want to make an animated hatchet kill? Huh, think, think. Oh, maybe the person was made out of wood? Oh, that's a good point. I didn't think of that. Yeah, we've been living in Nibblebottom for a couple of months now. Have we met anyone made out of wood? Well, there were a few wood nymphs who came through. Hmm. Uh, and they're, they're partially made of wood and plants. Um, oh, there was, um, there was that little wooden boy. Oh, but you know what? He got magically turned into a real boy. That's right. And he had all those strings that were holding him down. Um, mm -hmm. He's kind of tied up. Do we know any real boys who got turned into wooden boys? Oh, what about that kid, Inoki Pin? Okay. I mean... He, I'm listening. He was a, a, a real boy that got turned into a wooden boy. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't think it was uh, a wooden boy. It, se it seemed Are like Are you sure, a though? Because here, there's more details. <laughs> Okay, great. Every oh, is time that, is that he told the truth, his nose would just fucking shoot out of the back of his head. That's terrible. Is this Pajetto's little creation? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, Pajetto's insane. It's uh, He's a young scientist who likes to dabble. I'd say steer clear of him. Yeah. Crickety chimney? <laughs> is that something? Is that a thing? <laughs> oh, yeah. Is... Is that that little cockroach that would sit on that little boy's shoulder? Sure. Let me drink some more of your Manhattan. <laughs> okay, can we all agree, though, if this was the person that was murdered, we won't look any further into it? Yeah, agreed. Yeah, sure. Let me see. Oh. 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 Yes, I, I, I am also seeing the hatchet. It's arms. It's arms. It's little hands or little tiny fists. And it, it's slightly askew. So you're not seeing it directly from behind. It has a tiny mouth. And it's saying something in the vision, in the memory, that I can't I can't quite make out. Chunt, is it just me? I'm having a hard time concentrating on the murder details, and I'm just fixating on the fact that Usador makes that same weird sound every time he, he learns something about the murder. Which Chunt are you talking to? Talking to the one in the middle. I just... I don't want to assume because there might be other people named Chunt. Yeah. yeah, it sounds like he's climaxing. Uh, right? You know what? Oh, use it or Chunt. Here's what we need. Shots. I'll be right back. Uh, Chunt, uh, is this what we want to do with our lives? <laughs> I hope not. I mean, I hope this is a phase and then I hope to like move on to something else, you know? Like, I hope it's me on stage singing and I have the nasty little ravioli players and they're like also singing. They're my, they might be my band, and I tour around Foon. Wouldn't that be fun? Traveling be, musician? Oh yes, a, a bard, as you as it were. Uh, that would be wonderful. A uh, good good class for you. Good job for you. Yeah, um, and I probably need you know a stage show with like lights and pyrotechnics. So I would need a a wizard. I would make an excellent stage manager slash pyrotechnic technician. I would gladly tour with thee and put on the greatest light show that's ever been seen. Fireworks! <laughs> fireworks! <laughs> wow, that's so cool that you scream fireworks while the table slightly jiggled. Next time you should do real fireworks. Well, we're inside. Yeah, you, you want to play it safe. I, uh, you know, well, that's what makes me such a good pyrotechnic technician. I know what's acceptable, what the safety parameters are. Mm -hmm. No, no one, everyone's impressed by the explosions and lights, but the true skill is knowing when not to set off an explosive. Exactly. Okay, guys. All right, I got a bunch of stuff here. Uh, all right, so to help us, to help us solve the murder, I got just this big bottle of Jaeger murder, and um, I think this is gonna have memories of the murder in it. And then I also got us a bunch of shots, and I had the thought, just to make it fun, every time we learn something about the murder, we should take a shot. Oh boy, we're gonna get fucked up. Okay, uh, I, I suppose we can do that. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Now, now, don't forget, you've, you got your Jaeger murder, but keep your shot ready because we might discover a thing about the murder pretty soon and then we'd have to take a shot. Okay, here we go. Down the hatch, you old snatch. 
Whoa! Ah! Oh! 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 Ooh! Whoa! Oh, sorry. I thought we were all doing this now. It's happening to Chunt. <laughs> Uh, oh. it's, a new sh it's a new shampoo, oh. it's a new shampoo. Oh wait, come on! I'm gonna go! Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, sorry. I, I fell just... off the table. Uh, uh. Oh, are, you all right? are you alright? Are you alright? Mm. Yeah, I hope so. Well, you may not be soon because I have just learned something about the murder and you must prepare to take a <gasps> shot. The name of the victim was Darlelian. I, I'm totally Sorry, right with my what, shot. I just couldn't quite. Yeah. What What was the name? The name of the victim was Darilian. Dar. 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 Real. Real. E. E. e An. An. Okay, let's just, Ian. Uh, is, uh, the victim. Ian. Oh, what, I just took. I had a vision too. The body's <sighs> name was Ian. Oh. Oh. Shot. Oh. 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 Now, how could we have learned two different pieces of information? <laughs> Wait a second. Guys, yeah? all this time, we've been assuming that we've been solving one murder, but we've been drinking a lot of different drinks. Oh, wait, oh. I had another flash. Yes, yeah. all these drinks are bringing about different memories of, maybe it's different vantage points of the same murder, because uh -huh. I just saw a new vantage point. Uh -huh. Ian, the dead body on the floor, was wearing those, um, those pajamas with the butt flap open. Oh. He had some sort of like rear window open that you oh. could just see right to his butt. So he must have been, you know, out of bed going to the bathroom when he was killed. Oh, I've just seen another vision. I can see the room where this happened now. It's upstairs. Here at the strange familiar. Arnie, what'd you see? Yeah, Arnie, what'd you see? You've been real quiet. I saw a, a bird looking in the window watching. And I'm masturbating. What? What? No, I mean right now. Look, guys, look at that window. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here, Scram. bird. Scram. Scram. That's bird. not nice. Don't do that. Yeah. Oh, it's a pulcher. It's inappropriate. Mm -hmm. It's a vulture that pulls its own pud. Yeah. Get out of here, pulcher. Get out of here. I love you still. Well, case closed. Oh. No, but what I saw was that there were there were some mice in the corner watching. There's some mice that saw this whole thing. So if we find these mice, maybe they know exactly who the murderer is. Shot, new information, shot. Oh, nope. shot, shot. Was it those two mice right there sitting at that other table? Maybe. I mean, I'm not I'll an go expert out. on I'll go over there and find out what they know. Oh, okay. Yeah! Good evening, mice. I am Usador. The blue. Are you familiar with me? Hey, buddy. Back up. We, we're going through some shit right now. Who are you? We, uh, we saw some things that, uh, we're not comfortable talking about. Some oh. awful things. And hey, you should know, we're two kind mice. But yeah. after what we saw, oh, I don't know if I can be kind anymore. It's, yeah. It was awful. Look, come clean. I can't hold my partner back m much longer. And I'm the, I'm the good wizard, so you're going to have to tell me everything you know. Who's your partner? Yeah. Uh, the Spintax the Green. Oh, I heard oh. he's the best wizard at all of Foon. Yes, yeah. and he'll, he'll come in here and fuck your shit up real bad. So you better be good. You better tell me what you know before before I so I don't have to let him loose on you. I heard he once took one fish and made it into one fish that was cooked, and it was enough to feed... Three people! Yeah, well, you know, that's pretty impressive, I guess, you know. It's, I it's heard fish. that once he said a magic word and it made a rainbow shoot out of his hand. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. I, I, I heard that he once poured wine into water and ruined the wine. What do you know about the murders? What? Huh? How did he know? How did he know that we saw some murders? Josh, we better come clean. Uh, okay. We saw a murder. Whew, that feels good to say. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. We're going to head out. That well, no, no, my, no, hold on, my hold on, conscience hold on. is clear. Huh? Yep. Well, now that we shared that information, it's time for our suicide pact. <laughs> oh, oh. Get some shorts in here, my shoes, put a hat, mm -hmm. maybe a bottle of water. Yep, I'm all packed for suicide. Suicide Ontario. <laughs> yeah, we're taking a trip. They scuttled right away. Huh. Use all the right, door. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right, Use I'm coming back. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> 
Uh, well, uh, those two mice have scuttled off to uh, Suicide Ontario. Uh, and um, What? They made a little pact, and they you took it with are, them. Are yeah, you drunk? Or, what, you're, you're just talking gibberish to us. Don't you fucking tell me what I am or am not. You're, oh, you get so mean when you have a Don't mean you team. fucking tell. I will, I will fuck you up so bad. Do you remember... Do you remember when I killed the Dark Lord with a sword right through the heart? I'll yeah, except he didn't, right? didn't stay shut dead. Up, shut up, he shut up, didn't shut stay up, dead. Shut up. All right, look, I didn't learn much from those mice, but they definitely saw a murder. So there was a murder, but then they had to go. So why don't we take a quick break and have some more drinks? Well, let's be, but here, during the break, let's have a little bit of water. What are you even like, fucking saying? I'm, I'm not saying we're not going to keep drinking. We're, we're going to solve this murder, but we should have some water and hydrate before. Fuck hey, you. hey, you little nasty raviolis. Why are you drinking at the bar? Hey, you nasty, bar. nasty ravioli. ravioli. Why yeah, are you, you drinking at the at bar? bar. Oh, it's good in the round. Yeah, it is. It's like, ba da ba ba Ooh, hey there, good looking. It's Chunt letting you know you can check out all of our bonus material, including my personal favorite, Offices and Bosses, over at patreon.com slash magic tavern. Bye bye Oh, guys. Guys, during the break, I threw up a little bit. Yeah, it's all over your the front of your shirt and your beard. I Would know, you- but... There might be clues. I'm going to throw up some no. clues. No, it's all right. Guys, it's all right. Just drink some we're water. We're never going to solve this murder. Just drink some water, Arnie. We're <laughs> never going to solve this murder. We're never going to solve this murder. Guys. I'm never going to dance again. <laughs> uh, during the break, I had a drop of water, and now I'm completely sober. So what? I need the two of you. Huh? I'm a wizard, so it only takes a drop of water for me to sober up. Uh, but but I, I need the two of you to drink a little bit of water, and then we'll start drinking memories again, and and uh, we'll solve the murder. It'll all it'll all work out. I love you guys. I love uh, you guys. I love you too, Chunt. If where are my guys, shoes? Uh, if where you guys shoes? ever got murdered, I would drink every drink I would need to drink to find out who murdered you. Oh, that's very Aww. sweet, Arnie. Chunt, you don't have shoes. You don't wear shoes. Can I tell you something, Eustador? Honestly. Yes. Fuck Andy. He doesn't deserve you. He's an asshole and he treats you like shit and you are beautiful and you need, you need someone who treats you like the queen that you are. Andy Kane? Huh? Never. Mind. Mur- Wait, he's a murderer, right? He's a murderer. Yes, that's true. And we may have even met him one time. Wait. Or oh, several. Somehow that episode was more confusing than this one. Wait, I was just in the bathroom and I saw a wanted poster. Come to think of it, it was for a guy named Bob Hatchet. What? If you want that poster, take it. Oh, yeah, no, I thought no, it looked d- cool. Huh? I-, I think he meant that the poster indicated there is a person who is wanted, and it is indicating on the poster uh, the person who is indeed uh, being uh, No, I wanted the poster. The oh, you just yeah. wanted the poster. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, then but, go take it. But did I come across a clue? <gasps> May- uh, yes. Yes. Bob Chunt, you gotta stop coming on the clues. <laughs> Feels so good. You're tampering with evidence. Bob Hatchet, that must be the killer. It was a hatchet job. Well, we still have this little hatchet here. I'm I'm going to see if I can um if I can commune with the hatchet magically. Hatchet, it's me, Usador, your father. Uh is there anything that you can tell us about your hatchet brethren, specifically Bob Hatchet? Uh, and any murders he may have committed. Bob Hatchet has a sickly child. Guys, this hatchet scares me. Uh, it, well, it's all right. It's just a hatchet. It's just, you know, it's just a hatchet. It's fine. Now, uh, if Bob Hatchet has a sickly child, why would he want to commit murders? Christmas time. Okay, Christmas time. No days off. Okay, because Christmas is being canceled. Bob Hatchet's days off were cancelled, and therefore he decided to commit murders out of frustration. Makes sense to me. Solved. What? Sorry, I fell asleep for a second. Do we solve? Do we solve the murder? 
Yes, uh, it appears that a hatchet killed multiple people because it didn't get time off for the holidays. Oh, oh. fuck. That sucks. That's bad. That's bad. Someone should uh, say something. I'm going to say something. Yeah, I, I think that makes sense. Tink, 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 tink. Oh, I'm hitting myself in the throat with a spoon. <laughs> Listen, everyone, everyone. Shut up and pay attention. Thank you. Listen, to everyone at the bar. I know I'm drunk, but we can't go around just killing everyone. Yeah. And also, right. Usador. Yes. Fuck Andy, okay? You gave him everything, and what did yeah. he do with it? He treated you like garbage. Right. And right. it's not what you are, okay? I just love you so much. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> You sir, you sir, you sir, you're you yes, sober. You're sober right now, right? Yes, I am. Can you tell us? Is, are the are the listeners gonna like this episode? Yeah. Oh, yes, very much so. Because <laughs> yes. I don't know if they're drunk like we're like if they've been. Uh, <laughs> Do Is listeners not like us? No, no, <laughs> they love you. They love both of you. Oh. Both of us, though. You yes, so, yeah. Usador, how do yeah. you make light again? Galev licked in comma. Can you do that again, but make it the light of PDO? PDO light? Sure. Galev licked in comma. <laughs> oh, oh. You gotta stop oh, eating I that light. I feel much better. Arnie, you should have some PDO light. Oh, okay. You, you'll you'll feel much better. Oh, whoa! Don't I know wait, why you guys started drinking like that. Right. <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> I forgot. Oh, Whew, yeah, I'm a little more sobered up now. So, so we solved the murder. It was Bob Hatchet. He didn't get time off work for Christmas, and he went crazy and k killed his boss. Is that it who Ian was? Does oh. he work for Ebonian? The Screw? Ebony and Screw? I guess I read that name tag wrong. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm still, to be fair, I'm still a little drunk. No, wait. Yes. Darillion. If you look at it upside down, it spells Ebenezer. <laughs> oh, because it's written in Crazy Scroll. Of mm. course. How did it we all? miss it? Oh my god, this mystery is coming together like a puzzle box. Wow, what a clean little bow we put on this. Holy cow. <laughs> Well, I'm satisfied, but now I have another concern. Yeah? Mm -hmm. If Chris Must is cancelled, and this sweet little hatchet with a sickly child decided to commit murder most foul, then what will other people do when they realize there's no Chris Must this year? There are so many other foolish holidays to celebrate, I was certain they would be more than happy to celebrate one of them instead, like... Uh, Hagbum or, uh, or Gunderstein or, or, or Bonksgiving. Uh, yeah. Bonksgiving, yes, yeah. Bonksgiving or, or, or the winter solstice. Or Orgasm Thursday. Or 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 Smellback or or or, or Stinklefist or, uh, or oh, Frostnut. I gotta Any be honest, of those. I'm not a fan of Stinklefist. Why not? I don't know, it's too stinky. <laughs> You know, everyone has fun in their own way. I guess so. I prefer Orgasm Thursday, I gotta be honest. <laughs> Who doesn't? Yeah, that one's definitely become more of a secular holiday. It started off mm -hmm. as a, a specific, uh, you know, foonish sect of uh, warp sh worshipping the goddesses. And then everyone, even if they don't worship the same gods, they're like, well, we'll do Orgasm Thursday. Sure, Why not? Yeah. yeah. It, can, it can be secular. It's natural. Yeah. But what... What if more people decide to start committing murders? I will all have to think about this. Oh my god, I can't drink that much every week? No, 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 no. We'll have to think about what to do about Christmas. The show must go on, as they say. I guess so. Well, we've got a little time still. Uh, Christmas isn't for a couple of weeks, and uh, yeah, between now and then, I'm sure we can uh, come up with some plan to make people happy and uh, keep our little secret safe. Yeah. And by then, you know, perhaps I'll take on a new, uh, you know, I, I need to start, I need to start coming up with some alibis and, and new, uh, new personas anyway. That's right. You're supposed to be dead in a couple weeks, right? A couple months. A couple months, but yes, I, I should start coming up with aliases and, uh, Ooh, disguises. Yeah. I like alibi or, or full name Allison By. Oh, you know Allison By? Yeah. 
Yes, I was hoping that she would want to spend some time with me uh, it, when I take on a new name and a new persona and a new mm. look and uh, perhaps, uh, you know, start a new life uh, once everyone, because everyone's going to expect me to turn into mm-hmm. a shaft of life yeah, and disappear into the sky. Sure. Of course, we'll have to, yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it yeah, out. Yeah. Well, I'm perfectly satisfied uh, at the, at the resolution of this, this particular... Oh, should we tell someone in law enforcement? Yeah. I guess we just felt satisfied that we knew the answer, but we haven't done anything to make sure that justice happens. No, and I don't know where that hatchet is. Uh, it could yeah. be killing someone else right now. Yeah, could be under this very table. Do you want to look? No, Arnie, you want to look? Oh, I'm scared of hatchets. I'm You're already tallest. scared. Of the, I'm scared of this hatchet that we have here. Wait a minute. Does this hatchet we just created go back in time and commit the murder? <gasps> Hold Quick, on. let's name it Bob Hatchet. Wait, I mean, you're, now you're trying to make it come true? No, you're, he's not trying to do anything, but look at this fucking hatchet. What would you name it? I, uh, let's just ask the hatchet its name. Hatchet. No, you, sir. Quick, get, get it a job. Well, wait, what are you doing? I was just going to ask it what its name was already. Uh, right. Yes, fine, I'll give it a job. Um, uh, yes, uh, uh, Hatchet, uh, would you like a job uh, at my accounting firm? I am known to the accountants of this world as Ebenezer Blue Robe. Yes, I will take the job. Well, excellent. See, problem solved. Hmm. For my son is sickly. I don't <gasps> care. I'm not celebrating Hagbum this year. I'm going to be miserly. You can have no time off, nor any coal. My son's name is Tiny Tinder. <gasps> but we Sexy. call him. Tin for sh- sexy? Yeah, Tinder? <laughs> Come here! You should know, it's so weird how that hatchet is punching you with its fists. <laughs> why did I give you- Why it's did I give you a fist? You. Stop it. It would have been a lot worse without the fist, probably. Get off of me. Quick, you sword. send it back one week in time. Okay. Rewind. <laughs> Wow, I can't believe we have that technology the whole time. And we barely ever use it. It could really break a lot of story. That's yeah. true. Hey, I wonder why I can see through my own hand. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing this is a standalone episode. Otherwise, some of these consequences would be pretty bad. Well, I don't know what you mean. Uh, apparently, I'm going to be murdered in the past by mm. a hatchet. And I, I have every reason to believe that I won't stay dead. Or sure. that I'm faking it in the vision we saw. Yeah. On the second day of solstice, my foon love gave to me two murderous hatchets and a python in a bone tree. Hey, you nasty little raviolis, what are you doing celebrating Christmas? For extended versions of the songs the main characters had just begun to sing, visit... Oh, you're shaking your head no. No one wants that. Just do the credits. Very well. Wizard's Choice Award nominee, User of the Blue, was played by Matt Young. Chunt the Talking Badger was played by Adol Rafai. Special appearance by Derek Phillips and Stacey Oristano as Darek Fowlips and Stacey Orcastano, the Potion Makers. Check out their podcast, Clear Eyes, Full Hearts, a Friday Night Lights weekly rewatch podcast, hosted by Derek and Stacey, who played Billy and Mindy Colette Riggins on the show. Derek and Stacey are married on television, but they're friends in real life. Join the two pals as they take a trip back to Dillon, Texas, where they share highlights of the episodes, behind the scenes info, and respond to fan questions. Imagine that. Fans. They'll also be joined by members of the Friday Night Lights family, writers, directors, and fellow cast members. Hello from the Magic Tavern is a fully independent production made possible by supporters of the Magic Tavern Patreon. For just $5 a month, you could have a version of the show where Usador is voiced by Brian Cranston. That's not true, but can you imagine? God, I would listen to that show. No, no, but you do get ad-free versions of every episode. And two new free bonus episodes each month. For more information, stop by patreon.com slash magic tavern. Do you live near the San Francisco area? Well, if you're a tech millionaire, then you're part of the problem. Still, Hello from the Magic Tavern will return to the San Francisco Sketchfest for a live show. Saturday, January 8th at 4 p.m. at the Brava Theater. 
tickets are on sale now. Just think, you could see us, stay in the theater, and find out what show was good enough to play at night. Visit sfsketchfest.com for more information. Hello from the Magic Tavern is produced by Arnie Niekamp, Matt Young, and Adol Rafai. Post-production coordination by Garrett Schultz. This episode edited by Stefan Dranger. Special assistance provided by a wadded-up ball of masking tape. Wait, no, by Ryan DeGiorgi. Hello from the Magic Tavern logo by Allard LeBan. Magic Tavern theme by Andy Poe. <laughs> Wow, Josh, we made it. We're in the Terrio Mountains at Suicide. On, we're on the Terrio Mountains. Yeah, we're on Terrio Mountains in Suicide. Wow, yeah. we made it. Makes perfect sense. You're my best friend. You're my best friend. I feel like witnessing that murder brought us closer together. Agreed. We should start a podcast like those people at the table next to us. Gorsh, welcome to Suicide Ontario. Ah, what the fuck? Look at this goofy motherfucker. What is this ambulatory dog? Ah! 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 Gorsh. What is it? What is that word? I don't know. What do you is mean, he, Gorsh? Is he, is he trying to say gosh? Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't mean huh? anything. Huh? I'm terrified. Huh? <laughs> I stepped on a duck and killed it. Fuck Gorsh. me, Josh. Fuck me. I killed this duck. Those. Those, that wizard's gonna see us in a flashback and come for us. Oh, no. Oh, no. What have we done? Oh, Crickety Jimnet, we really did it now. <laughs> oh, Crickety Jimnet, we're fucked.